In most places around the world, these things can't be recycled and they're used for just minutes but take centuries to disappear. With hundreds of millions of straws used every single day around the world, we wanted to intercept just a fraction of them to try and show how these tiny little things added up into a very big problem. My vision was to take used straws, over 100,000 of them, collected, washed, organized, and stuck onto pieces of recycled plastics to create a piece to ignite conversations around the plastic ocean that we're currently creating. The result, a massive straw apocalypse represented by the parting of the plastic sea. Here's how it all came together. This project began when Julia from Zero Waste Saigon heard about how I was converting trash into art and out of nowhere reached out on Facebook offering to help organize volunteers in cleanup efforts all across Vietnam to collect straws. After weeks of hard work, we got even luckier. Starbucks Vietnam heard about our efforts and offered to put their resources at our disposal and set us up with collection points across various Starbucks all across Ho Chi Minh City. Things were getting really real really fast and by this point, I still hadn't figured out my final concept. One of my earlier ideas, for example, was to create a vortex of straws. And while it looked really cool from the front, from the side it looked kind of like an ice cream cone or a turd. But after a few more iteration and brainstorm sessions with Suki, an escape room designer out of Serbia, and Nick Moser, a technical builder out of San Francisco, we finally came up with a brand new concept, the parting of the plastic sea. With more plastics than fish in the sea scheduled for 2050, the idea of representing the ocean saturated in plastics just felt like the right message. Only one problem we didn't have a place for our 8 meter long installation to live. We desperately searched for someone that would give our crazy idea a home. And although most people said no, we finally got super lucky with Estella Place, a brand new mall that just opened, who absolutely loved the environmental message and offered us a massive space in their main lobby for free. With all the logistical pieces finally falling into place, it was time to figure out what to do with the massive amount of straws that we had finally managed to collect. But first, we had to clean all of them. Yep. That's right, all 168,000 of them. The German International School stepped in to offer us a space to work for a couple days, where we asked volunteers on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to come and help. And come they did, spending days washing, sorting, and organizing the thousands and thousands of straws that were collected. Since the plan was to build the parting of the plastic sea, I recommended grouping our straws into a few different categories. Blue, black, and green for the waves, white for the foam, orange and yellow for the sand, transparent straws for any transition points, and red, well, I didn't know what to do with the red ones because they were a little bit distracting. Parallel to all the cleaning, a friend of a friend called Fosha helped us convert our design from concept into reality, acting both as a translator and 3D expert. Working day and night, we built and assembled the pieces of wood into what I hoped would look like two massive waves. All right, it's two o'clock in the morning, guys, and we've just gotten our ribs set up. As you can see, they're looking pretty amazing. It's growing fast and it's looking awesome. From there, we only had a few steps remaining. Designed the LED lights that would bring our structure to life and gluing straws to large panels of recovered plastic that could be then draped onto our sculpture. So we've built these sheets over the last couple of days, but the problem is every time we put these up, a bunch of straws come falling down. As the final pieces were added onto the structure and the lights switched on for the first time, that's when the true magic started to happen. Families, children, and couples stopping, taking the time to read the educational banners that we had left out, and taking photographs to share the message with their friends. Ultimately, we all know that a piece of art alone can't change the world. But just maybe it has the power to touch somebody and get them to start a conversation the next time they're offered a straw by saying, no thanks. Because that little bit of nothing can add up into a whole lot of something. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. On Monday, we're going to be launching our big cinematic piece. So if you enjoyed this so far, please subscribe for the launch on thestrapocalypse.com. Also, if you know a company, institution, or museum that might be interested in adopting our installation forever, that's all 168,000 straws, please let us know. Straws can't really be recycled, and we would really love for this installation to live and fight on forever.